on a bon mark mot thank you honorable speaker i rise to support this motion in Nairobi, uh, honorable speaker i can tell you our population goes up to even four million and even more at times depending with the seasons and we can assure you that since Nairobi was founded the only public cemetery that exists uh, that is in use today is in Langata now if we look at the population that we have and I can give you statistics I represent Mbakasi West which has a population of about 300,000 I'm aware of Mbakasi North which has about a similar uh, number and Bakasi East that carries uh, 360,000, same as the Bakasi South that has about 360,000, Bakasi Central that has about another 300,000, Kasarani that has 400,000, Roy Sambu that has 300,000. All those people who have spoken of constituencies that are on the eastern side of this city, we all go to bury our dead. If we cannot take them up country, we all go to Langata. It is impossible. Those numbers are too high. Secondly, Honorable Speaker, we have land further down towards the end of Nairobi, and we can cross even into the Ukambani area on that, on that end. We who come from that end do not need to bury our dead in, in Langata. So it, is, it, it falls on us and this house, in this time, that we can sit and correct the mistakes that have happened for years and decades that we have refused to plan for this city. Honorable Speaker, I'll be coming up on the next with a motion that will demonstrate how we have failed this city. The failure to plan for our city has led to uncontrolled planning, and that is why the same issue you're seeing in Langata, where you can go and bury somebody, we've been there, we've buried our friends, and you can see an open grave where you can see even the casket itself. That is the most degrading thing that we can do to our departed dead. So, Honorable Speaker, I think it is time. This motion is very timely, and this should not be a matter that should be taken for granted. Past government tried even to buy land. Um, I remember there was, I don't know whether it was in Mavoko, but we were taken round in circles. As much as we say we want to leave this matter to the county of, uh, to, the, to the county government of Nairobi, I do not think the county government of Nairobi can handle this matter. That's why I think it is the way the Honorable Jalango has decided to bring this matter to this house. It is important that we support him because Nairobi belongs to all of us. And this should be a matter that we as our government should be able to find land in our surrounding counties. We have Kajiado to the south. We have uh, Machakos. We have Kiambu. Those are the counties that border us. It is important we liaise with them and this can only be done through the national government. So we are able to find land in those uh, counties and be able to bury our dead in those areas. So with that, uh, Honorable Speaker, I think this motion by the Honorable Jalango is important and I will support him that it is time that we close Langata Cemetery, but it is important that by the time we close it, because attempts have been there to, and they've tried to close it, but if we do not come up with a solution, we are left with no choice than to bury our dead in Langata. So, Honorable Speaker, I beg to support. Thank you. Thank you. Member for Kangundo, Honorable Fabian. Thank you very much, Honorable Madam Speaker. Forgive the opportunity.